All right, let's see how we can actually enable impersonation in stream sets to actually access the secure MapR cluster. So my stream sets is installed in the generic location slash shop slash stream sets hyphen data collector. The first thing you have to do is um, is to um, change the the owner of few directories in stream sets. So I logged in as root. So the first thing you have to do is to change the ownership of of few directories, which I will show you. Change owner map R. I'm going to do recursively. So change map R slash R sorry R slash opt slash streams at data collector. Okay. So right now you can actually see I already done that. Okay. So the first thing you have to do that. Second is to change the ownership of slash etc slash STC. Do that. Change your map R. Okay. Then you do it for the where lib slash stc and then where log dot stc. Okay. So these are the four key things you have to do. Okay. And the next thing is. So I'm logging as STC. So STC is a user. So if you look at STC, so STC is a MapR user. Okay. So STC can actually access MapR FS. Okay. So you got to make sure you do that as well. It's basically creating a ticket for STC so that you actually access a MapR uh, file system. All right. Okay. So after you do that, then you have to edit few files here. Slash opt stream sets. So sdcd dot env dot sh. I'm using Red Hat seven point four version, so I'm changing sdcd. Okay. So if you open that file. The first thing you have to do is to change the STC user to MapR. Okay. MapR. Then you change the group to R as well. Okay. The other thing you have to do is uh, it says enable this, but I'm not going to enable this. Um, I'm just going to. Um, comment it out and then leave this option as it is okay so once you do that okay um once you have done that the next thing you have to do is is to go to cd slash user live system d system Slash oops. Okay. And then STC dot service. Okay, you have to edit this file. It'll be STC, you change that to and leave the rest of the configurations as such. Okay, I'm just okay. All right, the next thing you have to do is to go to slash etc. etc. slash system D slash system. 
and then you have to create a directory called stc.service.t okay i already created this directory so you have to create this directory stc.service.t stc so that's the path okay so i have a file here you can have any name to this file but I just named as java.ops.conf. Okay, so if you look at the content of the file, so have these two lines there service environment equal to stc underscore java underscore opts equal to hyphen d or login dot password equal to dot enable equals to true. Okay, make sure there is no space in between equal to and true. Okay, so that's the content of this file. Uh, I can show you, I'll just edit this. So that's the content of the file. Okay, so you have to do it. So you have to, you have to create this directory stc.service.t under this path. And then you have to create this file and then have these two lines entered. And then what you have to do is then start the service. So I'm going to do system CTL. Load. And then I'm going to start start STC. Okay. So once you start it, make sure this STC started as a map R user. That's far more important. Okay, so so if you look at it, map R actually started STC. That's fantastic. And the other thing you have to look for is to see this parameter is set to true. Okay, so these are the two things you have to look for in the process. Okay, let's see whether it has started. I'm just going to see whether 4186 is listening. Yes, it's listening. Okay, let's go. And then so I'm logging as map R user I'll just remove all these files. Okay. So I have few files in health. So the health volume is mounted in here. So I'll just show the content of the file. It got crash.csv. Okay, let's try to access that. Okay. All right. So Let's try with the first one, which is read from local FS and then write to map RFS. So here, so my pipeline, if you look at my pipeline properties, it's in standalone mode, okay? And then I click on directories. So I'm trying to access this data, okay, from MapR um, uh, volume health, which is mounted in health. And then I'm just trying to access all the CSV files, okay? So, so if you look at the data format, it's um, CSV. And then if you go to the MapR FS, so I gave the HDFS user as mark. 
and then I, if you look at the output files I just say prefix with process underscore and then I say the template directory is slash data okay so let's 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 try without mark okay let's see whether it's it's input it's using map r as a user okay so let's go and validate this pipeline first so once it gets validated that's fantastic let's run this pipeline so this pipeline is running okay all right let's stop this let's force stop this pipeline and then if you go into so it actually created oops yeah i actually asked it to write to um slash data okay yep interesting yep okay so it took some time to write it so if you look at it it actually wrote it as map r okay so this file has been written as map r with the group map r okay let's go and imp impersonate so what i'm going to do is so you click on this block and then you click hadoop fs parameters and then you so remember i logged in as map r so i'm just going to impersonate as mark okay so i just put hdfs user as mark okay um, so let's go and verify that. Okay, that's mark. Let's um, let reset the origin, and then let's validate this pipeline. Great. Okay, let's go and run this pipeline. Okay. So yep. So I'm just going to stop this pipeline. So I've written some thousand records. So I'm just going to force stop the pipeline. Okay, so let's go into the, so, uh, so here you are. So you can actually see it actually write, write as mark with health group. Okay, so that's how you enable impersonation. Okay.